Hello everyone, I am Allison Gonzalez, a trainer here at Pragmatic Works, and welcome to my Teams series. We've covered a lot of topics on Teams so far, definitely go back and check those out after this video. But in this video, I am going to get into how you can schedule a Teams meeting from inside of Teams. There's a few places you can do that, and I'm going to show them to you in this video. So let's get into it. All right, the first place that you can schedule a team meeting is right inside the calendar app. So in your Teams environment, you can go to that calendar app, you can go up and schedule a new meeting. So either meet now or new meeting to schedule one in the future. Meet now, of course, will prompt that meeting to come up right away. Meet or new meeting is going to let you schedule that out for the time and date you desire. So you're going to get your regular scheduling pane in here. You're going to add your meeting title, add everyone in that you want to do this. You can also add people in later on as well if you wanted to do that. Pick your day and your time. You can pick if it is a repeating meeting. Also, I want to note, you can add a channel in here. So if you want to add this essentially to a channel and have everyone in the channel see this, you can pick your channel from here, but that is not required. So in this way, when you're scheduling it from your calendar app, you do not need to add in a channel, but you can if you would like to. The next option for scheduling Teams meetings is going to be right inside of your Teams channel. So the last one we looked at seeing you can do it from your calendar app inside of Teams. You can add a channel if you would like, or you can go right to the channel that you want to add it into. So everyone in that channel have access from a few episodes ago. We talked all about Teams and channels. Go watch that video if you want a refresher on how to set those up and what you should be thinking of when you are making your channels. But in your Teams channels, you are able to schedule a meeting by clicking the little plus sign next to the calendar at the bottom of a reply. That is then going to pull up this window, just like the last one, except the main difference here, really the only difference, is that it is going to put it in this channel already for you. So it's already set here. You don't need to do anything else for this. So, so far we've looked at doing it inside of your calendar app, now scheduling a meeting from inside of your Teams channel that you want it to be in. Also, in your reply, you are able to just meet now, and that's that camera icon. Anytime you see that, you know you can just start an immediate meeting right then and there. So it's gonna be meeting in that channel. It's going to be the title for that. You'll be able to join now. Once you join, you are going to be, or you are going to have the option to send this out to others. Let's get into Teams, set some meetings up, see how we can schedule this and how this looks from those different places. All right, first off, let's schedule a meeting from our calendar. So. Go to your calendar. This will sync with any other meetings you have coming from Outlook. Just across Office 365, Team syncs so well with that. So you're gonna see any other meetings in here. But if you want to start one right here up at the top, of course, Meet Now is gonna be that immediate meeting. But scheduling your meeting, you are gonna click this plus new meeting sign. And you just need to click this, the large part of the button for your meeting. You can see in the drop down your other options be schedule a meeting, which is what you're doing by pushing that button. You can also schedule a webinar or a live event from here as well. If you want to learn more about live events, we also have another video in our team series about live events. For this one, let's go with schedule a meeting. And again, you can either click the first option in the drop down or click on the giant purple button. This is then going to pull up your window and, and you are going to add your title in. You can then add in any required attendees. If you wanna set your meeting up first and then add people in later, you can also do that. You're going to pick your day, time, the duration. If you want it longer, you could also set this as all day if you wanted to turn that on. You can decide if it's going to be a repeating meeting. So if it goes every weekday, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or you can set custom times. 
And here, if you click an add channel, I now have access to every single team and inside of those teams, every single channel. So if I want to add in a channel here, I can do so, but I can also get rid of that if I want it to just be a regular meeting, not tied to a channel. I can add a location if this is gonna be in person, otherwise this will be a Teams meeting. It'll give you the Teams information. I can also add in any details for this specific to the meeting that I want all the attendees to know prior to it starting. And then I can just hit save and it is going to be added here. Remember, this was set to all day, so of course that's gonna get added up to the top of your calendar so you can see that really easily. Also, if I go meet now, this is just going to show you, of course, what that meeting is. I get that link, I can start the meeting. Also, when I start this meeting, hit join now, I will get this link right from here. So once I do that, I'm gonna get the link to share with others to join me in this meeting anytime I go with Meet Now. The other way that we talked about scheduling a meeting was inside of a channel. I'm gonna head over to my Teams, and then in my Teams, let's go into one of the channels and start a meeting from right there. Let's just say we're going to start one in this Power BI project team in my dashboard in a day channel. From right in here, I can go up to the top of the page and I have some meet options. So I can meet now or schedule a meeting right from here. And this is going to be identical behavior to how we were doing it in the calendar. So I can click on schedule a meeting. This time, the only difference is it's going to give me this channel right here. The channel is going to be pre-added in because I went to it. The path that I took was through that channel. It's going to remember that. I can, of course, if I actually realize I click on the wrong channel, I can get rid of that completely and pick a different one. And then it would attach this to that channel instead. So if I click on the wrong channel, I don't have to, you know, get out of this, go find the right channel and do it from there. I can also just, if I click on the wrong channel, add one and do that. So if you're kind of bulk scheduling out some meetings, you don't need to be jumping around a lot of different places. Again, same exact behavior for adding this in. Let's just leave this. I'm going to call this one new awesome meeting. And let's save this one. And now I can also see that got added into my calendar right here. If I open this up, I can add in any attendees right from here, as many as I would like. Let's head back over to that team and to that channel, and let me show you how you can do a, another way of adding in a meeting inside of this channel. So inside of a reply for this channel, right here at the bottom, and of course, if you do not already have any commentary going on, any post already in that channel, you could just start a new conversation. And in that new conversation bar, you can then write it. You can see that the meeting schedulers are not immediately visible. You would need to have a post first to do that. So if you didn't already have a post, you'd have to do add in a post to then open up this feature, which let's just say, I a meeting to discuss this. Once I have added a post in, now I have that schedule a meeting option as well as meet now. Same exact behavior, except this time when I hit schedule a meeting, it's going to have that exact channel in here. All that same time and date information is going to pull over. And again, I have the option to get rid of this, of course, if I realize I clicked on the wrong post in the wrong channel, I could also get rid of that, add a different one in from right here. And then let's discard. Same in that reply options, I can also meet now. And of course, with that meet now, you can see it's gonna take on the title of the channel that we are in. You can set your camera and mic options up, join now 
Once you join, you are going to get the link where you can either send that or add participants, whichever way you prefer to add them in from your organization. All right, that is how you are able to start a meeting and schedule a meeting from various places inside of Teams. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video. If you found it helpful, make sure that you like and of course subscribe to get the most up-to-date information when we are going to release new videos. So here on our channel, we go over all Microsoft programs like Teams, but our main focus, and we have hundreds and hundreds of videos on it, is mainly on the Power Platform. If you have any Teams questions, put them in the comments below and I might just use it in the next video. Also, if you don't want to wait on the next video to learn more about Teams, you can head on over to our on-demand learning platform, which I have linked below, and you can take our Teams classes over there. If you do not already have an account with us, you can use, use code Allison30 to get 30% off. Happy learning, and I will see you in the next video.